Buona.tv is sponsored by Skype. Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and uh, I want to talk a little bit about Twitter, specifically a client called Snitter. <laughs> Snitter stands for Snooks Snitter. You can get it from snook.ca slash Snitter. Now, Snitter is an Adobe Air powered application. Adobe Air is a framework which runs on Windows and Mac OS 10 currently, but I believe a Linux version is coming out soon, which allows you to run applications across multiple environments, but you only have to develop it once. Kind of sounds like Java, right? Well, this client is probably one of the best available for Mac OS 10, and it's called Snitter. And I'm going to give you a little demonstration of it. To first install Snitter, you need to install Adobe Air. And once you do that, you can install the Snitter application. Pretty easy to install on both both platforms. But uh, <clears throat> this is what it looks like when you first come up. It is a Twitter client, so you get to see your Twitter feed in this pane, and you get to type whatever you want to tweet in this window. You can also see your archive. You can also see your replies. Very simply. And also, if you hover over a person's name, you can reply directly, send a direct message, or mark it as a favorite. Some of the options are of course, you get sounds on new tweets for you, or sounds on new tweets. You can show two tips. Now, fortune cookie tweets. This is kind of cool. <laughs> what it does is that it um, appends the text in bed to whatever you tweet. So if you say, I'm having a bagel with my wife, it'll append in bed to the end of it. It's kind of funny. But uh, you can display notifications for so many seconds. Refresh. Now, this notification thing is sort of a semi-growl thing. If you're familiar with growl, on, uh, <coughs> excuse me. If you're familiar with Growl on Mac OS 10, then you know that it's a little notification thing that pops up and it goes away. Since Adobe Air doesn't support Growl, the author of this application decided to write his own notification system using Air, and it looks a lot like Growl, but not quite. And finally, you have themes and transparency. I have one called the Blues, that's my favorite, but by default, you'll get Snitter Green. And but that was actually, if you look up here, here are the notifications that just came up. <laughs> That's the snitter sound. That was the blues, and uh, let's see, fall red. And all of these are CSS style sheets, and that's kind of cool. So what you can do is go to the snitter site get a copy of the sample snitter style sheet click this edit user styles button and then you can copy and paste your own style in here and skin snitter the way you want to fall red is kind of cool i don't remember that one <laughs> superfluous orange so on and so forth and then there's leopard which kind of looks like leopard but not so i'm gonna go back to the blues. You can also see your followers. You can search your followers. Let's see if I can search. Uh, these are a list of all of my followers. It took a while to come up, but you can search them by name, URL, bio, location, all fields. And finally, you can see your own profile up here. Now, what makes this so cool? Well, first off, it's fairly stable. It's well written. That means it has a lot of good error handling in it. One feature I like, say if I type some text, like so, it'll count my text, as you can see. But if I get close to 140 characters and I want to type mylongurl.com, you notice that the text is in red and it tells me that it's more than that. But what it will do, if it has room, is that it will truncate this URL automatically to a tiny URL 
while keeping all of the text. Now this is something that other Twitter clients haven't done until now. They'll just truncate it. They won't keep the URL. But this is a feature that I like in Snitter. So those are the main features. You can clear your tweets. You can keep track of them if you want to. You can refresh and other things like that. But those are the main features of Snitter. And I highly recommend you give it a try. It's a nice, simple client. Again, it's cross-platform, works on Windows and OS X, and soon to be Linux once Adobe Air is ported over there. Now, there's other features that I'm sure I haven't covered, but these are the main features. And I, I highly recommend you go in and check it out yourself. All right, this is Buona from Buona.tv saying happy Twittering and uh, give Cinder a try. Buona.tv is sponsored by Skype. With Skype, you can make calls to ordinary phones using Skype Out for cheap, cheap rates. Use the link in the show notes to purchase Skype Out products.